Hello, 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 welcome back to another video. This video is on the camper, the trusty old camper van. Just gonna give you a little walk around and show you this beautiful machine. It's absolutely brilliant. It just absolutely, I'm speechless. I mean, it's, it's done over 1,500 kilometers and it's only had like five breakdowns. No, it's actually been pretty good. So I'll start with the exterior. It's obviously got Advan SA3s, can't remember, split rims on it. We'll go to the other side. The wheels are better condition on the other side. I only refurbed like three of them and didn't do the other one. But no, it's just a shame that there's um, all this arch gap. And the rear sits perfect. I mean, it must be the only camper van with um, split rims on it, surely. Surely there can't be any more. So we'll start out with some details. This is a Mitsubishi L300. It's got a 2.4 straight diesel engine. It's very, very similar to what's in the L200s. Uh, it's a manual, which is weird. I locked it so I can't get in. Retake. So it's a manual. Yeah, there we go. But it's on the column. So, like, if you can see here. So it's like, obviously, yeah. I'm trying to explain it. And it's all backwards because I'm using my backwards camera. Backwards camera? Front camera. Front camera. There. So, yeah, basically, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. And obviously the elephant in the room, it is left-hand drive as well. So not only am I trying to figure out how to use manual on the column, I'm trying to figure out how to drive on the wrong side of the road for me. And this thing is so weird. The cab's this size, and then if you look in the mirror, the body sticks out a foot each side as well. So it has been a mission. But I've not crashed it yet. It's got 82,000 kilometers on the clock. Like I said, we've done just over 1,500 kilometers in it. Um, yeah, it's been pretty good. It's an 80s van, I can't remember what year. Sorry guys. But the only mods on the outside are just the wheels. Technically some paint and things to try and seal the thing up, but no. The, um, and it's still on Polish plates because I am registering it at the moment. I insured it off the VIN. Yes, yes, yes. Any, anyways. Status error banner. Cheeky wee YouTube channel there. And yeah, it's pretty good rust wise. Like, don't get me wrong, the bodywork looks terrible. But the chassis is all painted still and it's not rotten. Doesn't need welding. The back, on the other hand, the windows are like delaminating a little bit. So one of the windows is broken. So I was always gonna try and like clean them up like you do with headlights. Alloy, it's been repaired a few times badly. So there was literally tech screws everywhere when we didn't need them. So I took them all out when I stripped it out and it needs finished up. It does. The ladder. There's a tow bar. Why is there a tow bar on it when there wasn't a tow bar on it before we came? Oh, that's because I was going to bring my Datsun. I did bring my Datsun. I just didn't get to Ireland with the Datsun. That's a long story and a story for another day. But I'll chuck a clip in it of it towing it. It looked pretty cool. I thought it looked cool. A certain somebody that pulled me over didn't think it looked cool. And they were sound, don't get me wrong, but... So yeah, didn't bring the dads in, missed out on the show, gutted. But, the camper van, back to the camper van. So this is the other side, the beautiful other side. With the bits that need painted. Like I said, it's, it's a diamond in the rough. It's, um... Oh, it did break down though. Why did it break down? Why did it break down? I'll chuck in a clip now of it breaking down. So yeah, luckily we broke down outside a parts store. Thanks guys. So um, yeah, the clutch went on it. 
and if you look at the actual well the brake pipe or whatever you want to call it to the, the, the line to the sleeve there we go look how rotten it is so I'm trying to remove it all out from the pedal to the sleeve and replace it so that's the only mechanical failure we've had so far and it wasn't terrible it was fixable it was a pain in the arse to fix because we had to walk find parts I spent over 100 quid on tools alone brake pipe flaring tools and things just to fix it but but I fixed it so we'll move on to the inside now so we'll start off with this door that's open oh it's a Jimmy Oak signature turns out he likes the van so he does got a couple of photos with him bumped into him at JDM Distro when I was picking a bumper up which is in the way in the camper van now and he was nice enough to sign the camper van and I think he judged us a lot but he's seen it it went on his story so I'm happy so from this angle like I said there's that stupid bumper that's totally in the way now and it doesn't look too bad open the door though there is a hole did forget about that Ooh. Yeah, we didn't finish the step and wondered why it was getting wet when we were driving down the road. Yeah, but I mean, it can't be perfect, it can't be perfect. So if we take a step inside, most of the stuff in here was free or really cheap. And we built it in five nights. Not five days, five nights after work. So that video was like two weeks ago now, but I mean, five days before we started. It was obviously a bare shell. There was some framing in, but it was rotten because it had been leaking and <sighs> me being me decided, oh, we're gonna take the camper van. Had that little faith that I was gonna get this finished that I actually bought another one, a Nissan Serena, this like wee day van thing as a backup. But no, we pulled the cat out of the bag and we got it done. So, start the tour again sorry sorry i'm getting kind of reweighed here so the walls obviously we framed it insulated it like hell and we got carpet for the walls which was just cheap and easy and i mean it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look too bad it was done on a budget the worktops were free these were upstairs at mom's house thanks mom i don't know if she knows that i took them but thanks and the worktops robert's joiner friend was like oh i've got spare ones so brilliant and the seats are just foam that we just chopped up into pieces and we wrapped with um, like throw like blankets you get for the, your couch or something. So that worked. And thank to Ray Kennedy for the table. Robert says he was nice enough to gift us it, but I'm not convinced. But no, so that's quite good. The laminate we just bought with B&Q, we never finished it properly. Don't judge me, don't judge me. And the roof is, it's like bathroom stuff. Seems to work well, it was free as well, so can't complain. The wiring, um, yeah, I'm not an electrician, but I mean, it works. I it was in that much of a rush that I lined it all without putting the cables behind the wall. Mm, silly, silly boy. Oh, some cool stickers and oh, some more signatures. Oh, and a remote control car. But yeah, we run out of carpet on this side. <laughs> it finishes here. There's actually a window there. But we were like, oh, we're in a rush. So I chucked these cool status error banners up and obviously the main guy himself. So yeah, this bit folds into a bed. So that's obviously a bed there for Robert. And then I have my lovely double bed up the top, which is pretty good to be fair. And yeah, I mean, there's one thing though. We um, don't have curtains. We forgot curtains wasn't until we parked up and we're like yeah we've not got curtains the electrics are just an inverter run of two car batteries or well, two truck batteries for the time being I mean I've got a cable and a switch to the engine when I'm driving it just charges it it's it's worked it's never went flat and I think that's it is there anything else I need to show you no this is the cheap and cheerful camper van that's Made it from the Scottish Borders to Cairn Ryan 
to Larne, to Belfast, to the village of Nass, to Mandelo Park, down to Waterford, then Arklow, then back up to Nass briefly, back to Belfast, and then hopefully it's going to make us the last of the journey back to the borders. But Robert's lost his passport, or oh, he's lost his wallet with his stuff in it, so I might be going home, he might not be. And if he's nice to me, I'll leave him the camper van. But all oh, that wraps this video up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, trusty camper van. And it's not for sale. I have had so many messages asking if it's for sale. And I appreciate that because it obviously means it's quite cool, but can't sell it. Okay? You want to know why I can't sell it? You want to know why? Because some silly bugger got a tattoo of it on his arm. Mm-hmm. Don't know who that would be. Some drinks in a pub. We want to get a tattoo to remind us of this beautiful journey we've taken. Yeah. Yeah, got a tattoo. I'll chuck out the picture in here. <laughs> there wasn't... There was drink on the go, but there wasn't as much drink as you would think there would need to be. But it happened. It did. It happened. So yeah. But no, I'll wrap this video up, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.